the first topic of the day. The fall anime lineup has been treating us good. So let's mm-hmm. discuss what we've been watching. I want to start with My Hero Academia because god damn it. Ralph, show that t-shirt. Show that t-shirt god. to the audience. That I, guy, I and she's the one. She's the one. Mirko is the one. But before we even get to Mirko, mm. I think that we can all agree that My Hero Season 5 want cutting it. He want the bee's knees. But I felt like it was building up to something. And it was building up to Season 6. It has been non-stop since the first episode. Mm -hmm. yeah they have been going in since episode one and i have to give them their props yes because i did not think that my hero was gonna turn up like this they turned up before but this right here i have to from mirko to hawks to just and oh Midoriya's classmate, the one with the lightning who can absorb Dinky. energy. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. He had it's, his shine. They are... I like what they're doing because they're not focusing on Deku, Bakugo, and Totoro. Yeah. Which was basically... It was the dim show last season. Mm-hmm. But now we're getting back into what I first appreciated about My Hero Academia was seeing all of the heroes and seeing how they use all their quirks to work together and getting those spotlight moments to people who weren't Deku. That's what we're getting back we're getting back to in these first four episodes. Man, the energy there, because I ain't gonna cap. Season five almost made me go, why am I watching this series? Cause I loved I loved the first few seasons of my hero. My favorite arc was um Hero Killer Stain. Mm-hmm. I think he was cold. That was one of my favorite arcs. But season five made me go, why am I watching this series again? And I remember the manga readers was like, yo, it's Slice of Life. Give it some time. It's going to catch up. I was like, y'all, I barely trust y'all. <laughs> but season six came with it. They was right. Season yeah. six came right. with it. They, I, we stuck. We made it through the Slice of Life, My Hero Academia. And now they, they, getting, back, they getting into it. Mm-hmm. They are getting into it. Bro, and and Mirko, bro, when we was at that um convention, I did not know why everybody was cosplaying as Mirko. I'm like, do they like her? Is it cause she pretty? She buff? She spunky? Like, why mm-hmm. did why do y'all like Mirko? This Episode season, I see why. One. <laughs> I see one. why. I <laughs> see one. why. I, she's my top three now. She she replaced Todoroki. It used to be she's uh, she's the one, not the two. Like I get it is. now. To all of the Miracle fans who were Miracle fans before the season started, I get, we get it. it. We get it. And I I'm not gonna say I didn't get it before. I just didn't realize why you guys were like focusing on that that one character. But I I'm with y'all. Let me in the club, please. <laughs> Foo said, "Give me a shirt. I'm a cosplay. Give me a shirt. <laughs> Give me a membership card. Like in this last episode. Oh, I it nonstop. Mm. Like the way it ended. It's it's finna go. It's like I do not see this season slowing down. This might be my final last words because they might pull something out, but I don't see this the season slowing down after this point." I don't. That boy Shigaraki is coming. All <laughs> hell from the break loose. Yeah, because they thought they stopped him. And sorry for anybody who ain't seen episode four. But they thought they stopped him. They thought they, you know, woo, we did it. That boy um, got electrocuted. Woke up anyway. Yeah. Yeah. And woke up anyway. It's a route. It's a route. It's a route for everybody. He's not even at a hundred percent right now. They stopped him at like seventy four, but we fit. I guarantee that seventy four percent finna do so much damage. It's not even gonna matter that he won at a hundred. Like, it's not even gonna matter. They gonna think that's a hundred percent. The wild part is, 
is that he has the original, not the copy, but the original of what All for One had. All for One. Mm-hmm. So he we don't know how strong this power is. He can just that's what I'm saying, Ralph. That right there. They stopped his thing at 74%. But just because of what we know and what we just found out, it's not even going to matter that that man got fully charged, that he did not get fully charged. It's not going to matter. It's not going to matter. Look, look, bro. Oh, somehow somehow I've that. avoided the manga spoiler. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when, pri- well, not prison, I'm going to call him Prison Mike, like I'm watching The Office, but Prison Mike, when he left him, in that room, I said, that's it. That's your last time being on this earth. Like, that's it. Man. I uh, Deku, that, that, is it finna become the Deku and Todoroki show again or something? Because, listen, I don't know who finna beat Shigaraki. I've been avoiding the manga spoilers, but I, who, I don't know who's gonna be able to fight this man. Deku is gonna get him involved eventually. He's, he's yeah. going to have Got to. to. Because he is, we're going, we have all from one successor, and we have one for all successor. Deku's going to have to get involved eventually. It's just, when does Deku get involved, and what is Deku going to do? Right. Yeah, he need to have them, them quirks on all of them mastered. He need to it's, have them ready. I, I need to see some action. <laughs> <laughs> I need to see some bang, bang. <laughs> I need to see some action. Like nah. we've been, we've been getting like these four episodes have been very intense. Yeah, but we haven't seen Deku yet. We haven't seen Bakugo yet. We haven't seen Todoroki yet. So when they do get involved, I hope that the intensity, if it does shift, it shifts to an even higher level. Yeah. They got to They got to Cause Miracle, she she set the bar. Endeavor need no. Endeavor oh, need to come with it. Ah. Hawks main Hawks main Hawks maintain the bar. Like mm-hmm. y'all need yes. to come with it. Y'all can't get lower than this. That if y'all get Hawks, lower, I'm gonna be disappointed. That boy Hawks did his thing. I'm. Ha- they left up. They left him with a cliffhanger. We don't know what happened to Hawks, but he did his thing. My boy, my boy went I, in. I hope like, Hawks I is just, still alive. That man was a cool character. Same. Same. Yeah. It's just, I love the fact that they just hopped straight into it. Like, no build-up whatsoever. It was, it was go time. Yeah. <laughs> it like, was we go here. time. <laughs> like. Y- y'all knew Hawks was spying. And we here right now. It's the we war. Gave, we gave, they gave us a little recap from season five. And then it was like, okay, y'all caught up? Let's go. Mm-hmm. Like, this is showing it. I'm the excited. best part for I'm me excited. right now is spoiler warning, but learning how important Twice was for the villain's yes. success and seeing how how far Hawks would go into his double agent side as far as literally having to, you know, do the finishing blow to, mm-hmm. to Twice is insane. Like that, that, that entire it's, it's, scene got me. Yeah, that emotional breakdown, like they did that very well. Cause Hawks, oh, yeah. he had no choice but to build a relationship with the dude and actually develop a bond with him. Mm-hmm. And it was like, bro, I don't, I don't want to hurt you, but I got to. Please don't make me hurt you. And then seeing the dude who called Hawks by his real name with the fire, and it's like, who is you? Yep. Do you even care about this guy? Like, who are you? Yeah. It's 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 making the situation more complex, and mm-hmm. I appreciate that because it's not just on the outside looking in. It is heroes versus villains, but you get to see the choices that the heroes make to where it straddles the line of being a hero or being a villain, and then you have the villains that are like that have their own purposes. Mm-hmm. So it's like it's like these individual segments are making the situation a bit more complex than what it already is. Mm-hmm. 
They gotta keep it up. I'm ready. I hope they keep it up. <clears throat> so but how the did next you guys anime... hold on, hold on, hold on. How did you guys feel about Kai okay. carrying out Stain's legacy in a sense? I I'm interested to am... see how he he does it. Yeah, he, it piqued my interest because I'm a Stain fan. I love Stain. I love the entire arc. I'm interested to see where it go. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm interested to see because I think I know who he is, but I I need to watch a couple more episodes. My my theory, if you guys would like to hear it, is he's Todoroki's brother. The one that they thought was dead. And he got the black hair with the burnt skin. So maybe, yeah, huh. Huh. I can see it. I, I, that's, that's my theory is that in some, he has some relation to Endeavor and all them. And I don't know if it's obvious, but like his quirk, because the way he manipulates fire. And the way it works, it's it's very particular. It's like some some somebody did something to like hype you up, bro. Mm-hmm. It's given, it's given endeavor making his perfect child. That's what he's given. <laughs> and experiment gone wrong. Yeah, yeah. That's my that's it. my theory on who he is. But um, I'm into I'm interested to see where that storyline goes. Most but I want to move on to the next anime on our list, Chainsaw Man. So Chainsaw Man currently has two episodes. How are you guys feeling about it? The manga readers were right. The manga readers were right again. I, I That's why I'm becoming one. The manga readers, they said, hey, this guy wrote Fire Punch and a few other sh- um, franchises, and he is cold, and Chainsaw Man, one of the best. And they in the anime ain't disproved it. Dark, dark, a little funny, nice mm-hmm. premise, and the main character ain't default. And y'all know what I mean by default. Tanjiro yeah. Deku and everybody else. Yeah. I he's like a different. It. He's a different type of main character. Yeah. It gives me it's when I first watched it, I was like, this is disturbing. But for some reason I can't stop watching it. <laughs> like i i feel bad but i'm intrigued <laughs> but i'm intrigued this is weird but i like do i like it <laughs> <laughs> it gives me the tone of it reminds me of fire force like how you have this serious plot line but you have those comedic elements in it like especially with uh Denji. Like in this previous episode, he the guy was like, "You don't take this seriously." So Denji's like, "Okay, I'm gonna take it seriously. My goal is to touch some titties." (laughs) 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 When I tell you, I heard that line. (laughs) I almost spit out my water, boy. I was like, "Excuse me, you're doing it for what?" He was like, boobs. He said, that's it. He said, I'm gonna take this seriously. I'm gonna touch me some boobs. And if I and then when he started working with power, he said, if I gotta work with you to touch some boobs, I'm gonna work with you. Cause that's what I gotta do to touch some titties. <laughs> Bro, it, nah, he got me when he said it in front of Mikey. Animes... Yeah, she was like boobs. Yeah. <laughs> It's just the way it started. Like, this man started off telling us, you know, I sold an eye for some money. I sold a nut for some money. I right. sold this. Like I, he, I sold a kidney. Like, like he's huh? Very, he's very blunt. Like, yeah. he's very blunt. And it's like, he doesn't, he takes, he takes things seriously, but, like, in the weirdest way that you would see somebody take something serious. Like, we appreciate that you're taking your job seriously. But... But to touch some some boobs, like that's your but, motivation. I, I mean, like I mean, I mean that just shows how twisted his life is. Like he's like, man, I just want to score for girl. My life right. sucks. My life sucks. He said that man said I get to take 
he said, I get to take a bath, I get to eat good, and I get to sit by this fine ass lady. I'm straight. Like, I don't need nothing. <laughs> I don't need okay. nothing else in life. Literally I'm, getting I'm treated content. like a dog. He like <laughs> literally like he getting fed. He she said, you know, you don't say no to me. You either say yes or you wolf. Mel? He did both. <laughs> Boy he did, did both. He said yes. Woof. He said, whoa. It's all of it's interesting. It's I I I do like the feel of it. I like that. Mm-hmm. It doesn't feel like any of the animes that I've previously watched. Previously watched, like Ryan said, Denji doesn't feel like your typical Tanjiro, Deku, Naruto type protagonist. Right. Mm-hmm. Like he has his own feel, especially in the he pilot. Has a nice man. Yeah, that's true. Like in the pilot itself, um, we got to learn. You know, like we got that sentimental feel from him because you know he was living a low life doing you know dangerous things to make money to pay off his father's debt but we we got to see him you know like go through all that downfall of like dying and you know just like everything Mm -hmm. happening in his life at a bad time and how he wanted to be better how he wanted a better life but in reality he had a good life with his pet he had a good life with his pet while, you know, he was alive. But the pilot got me. I was like, oh, we here. Like the last five minutes, yeah. he went ham. I did not expect them to cut him up like that. Like, so I when he's in either. the trash can, when they when he's in the trash can, and he's telling Pocha, uh, you know, take, you know, take my body. And you mm-hmm. see, like, his feet, like, hooking back into his body and i was like oh they really cut this man up <laughs> <laughs> they slice slice and dice they really, they, they look it, it reminded me of like a ned stark scene because the zombies got him and was like ah ah all up in his body oh, i'm like yeah. i was like whoa is this is this not the main character i was like i was like what's going on here they where's was, the chainsaw they man <laughs> they was in they was in for real though, I was like, "Don't he got like powers or something? Don't he got like chainsaws in command's hand? Like, why is this happening right now? I was like, ain't, ain't it supposed well, to be dying. him?" <laughs> hey, but he came. He came back though, and he got to it when he came back. He got down to business. Yeah, he did. He did. How did but, y'all feel about the graphics? Because you, the, the hardcore anime fans, some of them are a little mad at the um. What do they call those 3D graphics? And the, a few of them are kind of mad at the CGI's. I like the animation. I think because it looks different from what I'm used to. Yeah. Like, Attack on Titan did a really good job of, like, switching the animation style. Not once, but, like, twice. Like, when they started yeah. with the studios, their type of animation was different. And now that they're with MAPPA, that animation style is its own in itself, and I don't know. I like I like that. I think with anime, what I've appreciated like watching multiple ep- animes is that everybody's animation style is different, and I think this is just a different type animation style. Okay, mm-hmm. I would agree. The closest animation, the closest anime that I would put that has similar styles to this would probably be Baki. That's probably my closest I haven't seen one. Baki. Ryan has seen Baki. And it, You're and making it, me you think. Know, so, you, you know, you go from that 2D feel, and you know how they had the scenes that were 3D at times, and it would kind of just go yeah. back and forth. So that's why I feel like we're going to get here. Do you know who there. animated Baki? No, not offhand. I do not. But that's what it reminded me of. But I do like the animation because, you know, it is different. It's it's something that we're not used to seeing all the time. So I personally don't mind it. I think it looks good for the show so far for the first two episodes Mm we've seen. Um, I am interested to see how they continue to develop the characters. 
uh, going out because, you know, we've learned Denji's motive. Uh, we know he has a crackhead partner in power. So it's, it's going to be interesting to see how they both develop each other as, as you know, being partners of one another. Power is interesting to me. Like, I guess the di- like, just putting her beside Denji. Like, Denji's a human that got turned into a devil. Power was a devil that got turned into a fiend. So it's like, you guys are pretty much the same thing. You just got yeah. there differently. So yeah. now we get to see Denji how it is to be a devil starting out as a human. And from Power's perspective, we're seeing a human or the fiend but started mm-hmm. off as a devil mm-hmm. right it's interesting it's like they're basically they're basically the organization's like hidden x-men unit like y'all right. are the mutations yeah. we, want y- we want to see how y'all do before we x we y'all see off how you guys see how, what, what you guys do but i do want to stop what's up y'all if you enjoyed this video make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can get more updates from the mob for the full discussion and more discussions like this one click the link in the description thanks for watching